Today, I'm gonna show you how to break out of handcuffs. Let's go. The first thing I recommend doing when you're learning to pick locks or handcuffs is get the key and kind of familiarize yourself with how the lock works. So you turn the lock, you put the key in, and you turn the lock this way, which pushes a pin that releases the lock. If you if you can look in here, when you turn it, it it pulls the thing back. See? When you turn it, it's pulling that back. Which releases these these spikes that hold it in place. So that's all you gotta do. You gotta push the pin back. When you're starting, just practice with the key and get used to how it works. After that, you can get a bobby pin. Now bobby pins usually have the little bubbles on them. See? I like to open it up. I like to scrape it on something that kind of rubs off the rubber bubbles. And you don't need to do this, but for practicing, when you're starting, it's, it's smart to have. So once you have that, you can see it kind of rubbed off, so now it's a clean slate. You'll put it in. You put it in like this, and just a little bit, and you bend it one way. So you put it in, you bend it back and then you flip it so you have this you flip it you push that in and then you bend it back and what that does it mimics the shape of the key because the key goes down and then sticks out which this is trying to mimic stick it in like you would the key with the the part that sticks out towards the hole and then you try and push it flat like the key would be you just and you turn it and it put releases the spikes Now, of course, you're gonna be in different situations if it's behind your back. So you're gonna do the same thing. So let's say it's behind my back. You just have to, oh man. Now, in some cases, if you can, wiggle it over and get it to the front, then you can take your picked lock and stick it in the hole. Kind of push down flat like the key. And you're pushing the thing, you're pushing the clip back to release the spikes. And now to do it with your mouth, let's see. The lock could be backwards. You can only do it with your fingers if the lock is on this side. If it's on this side, you can't do it. So if, let's say I was handcuffed like this, then I can't reach the lock. You have to do it with your mouth. So in this case, you have to put it in your mouth. And I like to flip my wrists like this, if you can, and hold it like this, and put it in your mouth. And do the same thing. Feel for the lock, put it in, kind of push it flat, and mimic the key.
And then once you have one hand out, you can just unlock the other one with your hand. No need to use your mouth twice. And when you're picking, the lock will often become misshapen and you may have to rebend it or the other side that you haven't bent, it's already kind of wavy. Sometimes it can be easy to just pick with how it's already shaped. So you just put it in straight, straight, pull it flat, you turn. Now, if it's behind your back and you're unable to bring your hands forward, you just have to feel for it and pick it behind your back. So let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, and then you just pick the other one in front of you. Stick it in. Pull back, turn. Oh, another, another really good um, tool to use for picking locks is uh, it's those paper clips that hold papers together. You can take these out and it's basically the same shape as the key. So you can just stick it in. They are a little bit fatter so they don't fit in all locks. Um, and then pop out. Basically all handcuffs have the same type of lock. They all have the same key. So they're all picked the same way. Some handcuffs are easier to pick than others. Ankle cuffs require a lot more force just because they're bigger and heavier. Um, so they bend the bobby pins more so you have to reshape them more often. But basically they're all the same look. Stay safe guys. I love you. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And stay around for next week's escape. It's gonna be awesome.